Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold! It's finally time for us to continue our journey. Well, we'll be coming back here very shortly. I actually want to see if I can capture a Pokemon I'm particularly looking for. Here we can get Ultra Ball! Possibly the best ball in the Pokemon series, excluding like the Master Ball and stuff. Okay, nothing down here. Now, I don't have Surf, so I'm going to be relying on those Pokemon rods that those guys gave me. Well, that one guy gave me. It's an old rod, but it'll have to do. Not even a nibble. Although fishing in this game is not nearly as exciting as fishing in like a Zelda game, you know. Zelda games are always fun to go fishing in, and I never have a problem going fishing. So games like this I don't really care to go fishing for. Ah, I found a Goldeen! No, that's not the Pokemon I was looking for. So, sorry Goldeen, um, have a nice day. Let's try again. Right. Let's go and go back to my old rod. I'm looking for a specific Pokemon. Alright, well, not even a nibble. Let's go on and continue onward. Maybe I'll find one later. That's depressing though, I really wanted a Meryl. I really, really wanted a Meryl. Alright, so, let's go and challenge the Ecrotique City Gym. Leaders of Morty, huh? The Mystic Seer of the Future? Is he Psychic too or something? Hey, uh, how's it going? Can you inflict any damage on your Pokemon? Well, I could try. I mean, I sure hope I can. I wonder how tough you guys are. Wow, he has a five Pokemon. Yeah, so this is a ghost type gym. Which means we can't use physical attacks on these Pokemon. We're gonna have to use, well, anything else but physical attacks. Nothing like jump kick or any of those moves. I mean, high jump. Mean look. Oh, he's giving me a dirty look. Get him, Pidgey. Oh, Pidgeotto. He's not a Pidgey anymore. Yeah, we're, we're quite past that stage. Alright, so another Ghastly. I probably should keep my Pidgey in for this battle, instead of switching to Quilava, because Pidgey could use the experience, and what if something happens to Quilava and need a backup Pokemon to finish the job? Pidgeotto can definitely take care of that. Uh, can you use anything else besides Mean Look? I mean, you have, like, Lick and... Other attacks that you, that you have you have at your disposal, maybe disable or something. Eh. Okay, I'm start getting a pattern here that's going to be all ghastly. But okay, sure, I can handle that. All right, ghastly, do your worst. If you have any worst, you gonna mean look me too? Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Okay. Basically, it puts a curse on you, which drastically lowers your health over time. But it does take out their Pokemon. I'll show you viewers what the curse looks like. It's kind of annoying. It should be continuing on from one Pokemon to another. Like, after this next turn, I should lose some health from the curse. Oh, got a critical. Nice. Although, I should still be losing some health from the curse that that Ghastly put on my Pidgeotto. Ooh, Whirlwind. That's actually, wait, not that useful. But hey, it's better than... Tackle. Anything's better than Tackle. So sure, I'll learn Whirlwind. Basically, it's like Roar. Uh, gets rid of Pokemon. So at least that's what I remember it does. Alright. Another Ghastly. I'm surprised that curse hasn't kicked in yet. I thought it carried on from other Pokemon. There we go. There's the curse. Yeah, the curse can get pretty annoying. Sorry, Ghastly, you can't use curse because I'm already cursed. Which is still annoying, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, if he had Sage Ping. Did they name him because of... Is this supposed to be a joke? So... Basically, no normal type can attack them. Thankfully, I know the walkway here fairly well, so I shouldn't be falling. Well, at least as far as I remember, I shouldn't be falling. Hello, how are you doing today? Uh, actually, not really, because I know how to get past this invisible floor. But if we defeat the next trainers, we can get a hint on how to progress to the invisible floor. Whoa, lady! Uh, I don't need to get so crazy there. <laughs> she has a Haunter to evolve from of a Ghastly. And yeah, he has Curse too, so... Let's go ahead and use Ember. Try to get our level up before we get to the, the gym leader, which is always recommended. Uh-oh, they're giving me a dirty look again. Oh, I don't care about escaping. I don't want to switch out my Pokemon, to be honest. Oh, you know, I'm thinking. 
I probably should have healed up after those Kimono Girl battles, so I'll probably do that after this one. Run by the Pokemon Center and whatnot. Alright, I'll take level 25 from this. Very nice. I was hoping I would, because I'm gonna need all the... You're gonna need all the levels you can get for the fourth gym. You know, he's not nearly as hard as Whitney. Thank goodness. But he's still a challenge. Especially if you're at my level. Especially. Because I want to get stronger. Uh-oh. Got the spikes. Oh, well, doesn't really do too much, so... Not too worried about it, to be honest. There we go. Oh. That didn't take him out? He has, like, no health left. Oh, I see a little red bar. Uh, barely any health left. I should correct myself. Say goodnight, Haunter. Like, seriously. Actually, that wasn't too hard. I might be able to make the next battle without healing at all, to be honest. Huh. Or I could just use, like, a potion if I have a regular one. I don't mind. Do I have any regular potions? I do. I should use these. I mean, they're not useful to me in any other way. They're just taking up room in my inventory space, so I don't see why not. But now I can revive Pokemon Center after these battles. Alright. So what's the hint? What is it? The path is right before our eyes. Ow. Oh, basically, it's right in front of them. Even easier than I remember it being, then. You spent the spring with your Pokemon, then summer, fall, and winter, and spring came again? Yeah, uh, you know, the way you talk about it, it's only like a year and a half, or two years. No, it's not two years, because he started in spring, and spring came again, so... I guess that's a long time in a Pokemon world, but then again, no one ever ages, so... Yeah. I mean, all the ten-year-olds are stuck being ten, or at least Ash is. And can you imagine being stuck at ten forever, and your friends are in college, and you're still ten years old, and you're going, well, I should be in college, but dude, you're ten. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's just quite funny to think about. The confusion that these Ghost-type Pokemon have, well, Nightshade, I should say, uh, it could take off a lot of damage. But that's just why I'm trying to get some levels for my main Pokemon, my strongest one, before I go to the gym leader. Just so I don't uh, get destroyed, I should say. Win and losses, you experience both. Hey, yes, so do I! I experienced both, too. Hello, how's it going? You shall win. Hey, short and simple and sweet, you know, just the way I like it. You can try to win, uh, Martha. Or are you Grace's sister, by any chance? Nah, doesn't really matter to me. So she has level 18 Ghastly. Yeah, all they have is Ghastlies and Haunters. Not that big of a variety, but... Then again, there really doesn't need to be, to be honest. Aw, oh, you would curse yourself. Well, it makes it easier for me to defeat you, because you just killed yourself. That cursed me. It, it normally doesn't kill them automatically. It takes off, like, a good half of their health, or a third, something like that. So you don't have to worry about uh, them killing themselves from the, the get-go. Although, that wouldn't really be something to worry about. It'd be more of wondering why they did it in the first place. So now it doesn't kill them. It's just her the Gassy's health was low enough for that. Oh, boy. Uh... Great, thanks. Alright, let's go ahead and switch. Well, you know, let's try Flaffy. Flaffy is Haunter's level. And Flaffy has Thundershock. Although I don't expect Flaffy to be extremely useful here, but... Hey, why not? Just give it a go. Uh oh, Spite doesn't affect Flaffy? Okay, then. Oh, wow! Well, that was critical, but still, wow! Good job, Flaffy! That was very useful of you to do. Um, she has another Ghastly. Although Ghastly ain't gonna be nearly as hard as Haunters, so I'm not too worried about it. Ah, uh, you would use Mean Look. Oh, this Ghastly is two levels stronger than her last one. Maybe I should be worried. Are you serious? Another critical hit? Maybe I should use you on the Gym Leader, Flaffy. Jeez. Wow. At least Flaffy's gonna be useful this time around. Actually, Flaffy was very useful last time, but man, I got lucky last time. Just saying. Oh, well, that's not always true, but okay. So if you ever fall off the invisible floor, you just get returned back to the beginning, and well, that's what I want to do, so I can run by the gym real quick. And then we'll go challenge Morty. Whom is no pushover. 
Or well, at least not at my Pokemon levels. If I was a little bit stronger, I'd say he was a pushover. He, he's just not. I'm gonna start the battle with Pidgeotto, though, to see how much damage I can do beforehand. And then I'm going to throw out Flaffy and uh, Cold Lava and see if I can win that way. So let's go ahead and go there. Thankfully, this floor is not hard to get past. Oh! I took an extra step. I got a little impatient there. Sorry, sorry. It's only like one step. Alright. Now let's go ahead and put the Johto in the front. Alright, my levels aren't too bad. I'm hoping they'll be enough. Alright, Morty. It's time to take you down in the Ecroteak City Gym. Legendary Pokemon appear to the truly powerful trainers, huh? What about the honest and courageous trainers? Is it just power? Should I get Gandorf here? No, no, it's a different game. You can see the future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon? Oh, cool. Oh, am I gonna help you reach that level? Okay, Morty. Okay, whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say. Morty's actually one of my favorite gym leaders as far as the Pokemon series went, because I feel like he had the most interaction with Ash compared to all the other gym leaders. But then again, that's just me. Alright, so he has level 20 on Ghastly. Worry about Curse, Spite, Lick, all that kind of stuff. And what do you know? There goes the curse. This is why I want to put Pidgeotto first, so I don't have to worry about getting cursed with my Cold Lava when I'm trying to battle his stronger Pokemon. Whereas my Pidgeotto can handle it. Well, for the most part. I also have Flappy, which is actually proven to be more useful than I thought, so... I have another backup Pokemon I can go to. Oh, there goes the curse. Oh, I hate the curse so bad. Ha ha ha, your hypnosis didn't affect me. Come on, Morty, is that all you got? Oh, you're still not down? Damn, dude. Mimic? Really? You're really gonna use Mimic? What will Gus do for you? Nothing, especially when I'm gonna take you out this turn. Good job, Pidgeotto. Gained a level and took out two Pokemon. Very proud of you. What's your next one? Oh, Gengar, the evolved form of Hunter. I thought you were going to send this one out last, but okay. Let's try to- oh, it affected me that time. Um, shoot. Oh boy. You know, with that curse, I'm debating even trying to wake him up. Yeah, when you're sleeping, they can use Dream Eater. Darn it. I'm probably going to lose Pajocho that time. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I figured. Thanks, game. Well, I still got other tricks up my sleeve, Morty. You may have taken out my Pidgeotto, but it's not over yet! Oh, thank goodness that didn't affect me. Alright. I don't have the curse, though. Oh, wow. You know, Flaffy, that did a lot more damage uh, with the other Pokemon. Maybe it's because he got criticals all the freaking time. Can I stun him? Yeah! Paralyze that bastard! There we go. Maybe it can't attack. It depends, really. Jeez. My, I'm keeping Thundershock. I don't see why I want it. I mean, eh, I mean not Thundershock, Thunderwave. Man, that Thundershock is just ripping these Pokemon a new one. Like, a new mouth. Alright. There we go. Wow, my Flappy took out Gengar. I didn't have to use Colava. You know, Pikachu, I miss you a ton, but I'll just play you in Super Smash Brothers. Man. You go, Flappy! Hey, guess what, Haunter? I'm gonna use Thunder Wave. Oh, actually, this might hurt a lot. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, that hurt a good amount. But hey, I'm gonna paralyze you, so... Ha uh ha! -huh. Actually, this is a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought that Gengar was gonna give me one hell of a time, viewers, but... To be fair, he's... Not. Man, not Thunder Wave. It's just destroying my enemies. This is beautiful. I'm so keeping. It's probably going to be very useful later anyways. Although I wish I'd have Thunderbolt by now, then again, probably not until like 26 or 28 or something like that. I mean, Pikachu gets Thunderbolt at 26, so... Unless you're playing yellow, then I think it's 24. Just depends, really. There we go. Good. Now we got the Haunter. Ah, very nice. And we defeated a Morty, which was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Just Thunder Wave him. He can't do squat to you. Jeez. 
And we get the fog badge. It'll let us see through the fog and become the next person to triumph over Silent Hill. No, that's a different game. Maybe I'll do blind let's plays of Silent Hill. Maybe. But don't get your hopes up, viewers. If I don't have the game, I can't let's play it. Shadow Ball, eh? Very nice. I did play a bit of 3, and that was always fun. Alright, so let's go and drop back down. Alright, and next time we'll be... Well, visiting the tower and see if there's anything we can do there in this version of the game. And then we'll go... Well, continue on with our journey. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Gold. I almost said yellow there for some reason. Have a good day.